Oh, but oh, long time no see, long time no filming, long time no, yo, no entertainment. Guys, I've been gone. Yo, I'm icy, wifey, haters wanna fight me. Never been the one get RP. What's good, Shabba Snacks, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Kainsia Shabba Lala, and I'm an idiot. To stick around by hitting that subscribe button and tapping on post notification bell so that you are notified every time I post. And if you are a returning subscriber, a big thank you to you for stopping back by. As Nyabona Singabandu Bama microphone. Um, yeah, guys, I finally got a microphone because apparently I'm speaking too softly, mate. But you know what? Honestly speaking, it's like. It's a general thing like um I don't know if it happens like with cameras but like with phones when you put it on a tripod or ring light stand and it's a bit distant from you it is going to be a bit like the sound is not going to be as projected because the speaker well my speaker on my phone is on the side hence I sound softly what am I saying oh my god Hence, I'd sound so low in my video. Okay, I've been serious. Um, as you may already know by the title of today's video, your girl made it on television. So yeah, I made it on my first TV commercial with Capitec. I will enter the video at the end of this video. <laughs> like I'll enter the actual Capitec ad towards the end of my video. Well, to get into it, I'm going to tell you guys all about it, all right? The behind the scenes, I'll be entering some clips, some snippets of what I took along the way. It was initially going to be a vlog, but I genuinely told myself that I don't want to put it out like that until, until, um, you know, it actually gets released. But now, bear in mind that I didn't even know when the ad was released. I was literally told by so many people and i mean so many people family friends friends of friends with the hey can you you on tv dun, 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 dun. and i'm like what i haven't gotten anything from my agency i haven't heard anything from the phone company nothing but you guys are saying i'm on tv join me join me join me hi bro guys i was so shook but at the same time i was annoyed because i wanted to see it first you know so I was just like, oh, but thank you so much, thank you so much. Then I literally had to ask people to like send me um, clips and, you know, take videos of when they actually see me on TV so I can see, since I didn't get to see it before it was released. So here's what went down. Around my June, July, um, June, July holidays, um, I was literally in a hotel here in Cape Town with my family and I literally decided to apply at my current model agency which is called my booker models and i'll put the name right here uh hi my name is kaini sile shabalala i'm 20 years old my height is 165 centimeter my hobbies include drawing anything art designing as i am a design student I like going out with friends, having a good time, and I absolutely love shopping. Um, yeah, so my book of models is based here in Cape Town, and I basically just decided to apply, you know, because I'm like, let me try something. Let me try something new, something different for a change. But let me tell you, before I even applied, yeah, this is something I've always been wanting to do, like to get into a model agency, because... I don't know i just felt like that's that's a path that i'd want to head on yeah that's a path i'd like to head on um so yeah i actually asked one of my ex friends <laughs> actually to to put me on you know because he was in the industry he was there he was he was good at what he was doing but i don't know every time i literally hinted him about it or literally asked him it's like he didn't want to or i don't know and you know when people are like that she's like, she's sad and i'm gonna do it myself 
I did it myself and look how far I've come. Literally in a space of six months and boom, made it on my first TV commercial. I was extremely happy. Um, you know, there were times where I actually felt like, am I really gonna get this? Am I really gonna get this? Because I was told even by like the agency that, um, I think that time we were out level three. Level three? I think we're on level three lockdown. So I was even told that, okay, like to get uh, a casting, the uh, chances are very, very much. Mm -hmm. So they did let me know, that was around June, yeah? So they did let me know that probably by September you'll start seeing things, you know? And that's literally when this commercial came through, baby. It came through, okay? Your story time was into it. Hey, what happened, bro? So like, ne, um, there was a time where I was literally just on my phone and I was like, hi, I haven't heard from my agency in a while. Let me just scroll through my emails. Cause also I don't get notifications um, like of every email I receive, you know? I'd have to actually go into my emails to just check. I won't let you get a notification. So when I check and then I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. That's a promotion, socials, updates. Hi, bo. Hi, bo. 50 unread messages. So I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Okay, okay, sharp, sharp, sharp. My booker. Hello, who are you? <laughs> Hello, who are you? So I was like, okay, let me read this brief. What's happening? What's crackling? Ah, you love a funda corner, right? Yeah, basically in need of a girl, female with braces, just be African, um, must be willing to open a Capitec account or have a Capitec account. So I don't have a Capitec account, so I had to, um, yeah, I was willing to open a Capitec account basically. And yeah, on there, it had the roles of what I was expected to do for my first audition which is exactly what i did there's a casting agency not far from me here it's called chaos casting and that's literally where i went for my first audition um you know let me say something i'm really happy that i actually went there to go and do the things that had to be done the first casting audition whatever it's called <laughs> because i don't like or proof of sorry i don't like or proof of the online ones you know like the self tapes because those ones don't really, I shouldn't, they don't really, I think there's about four that I did and they didn't go through, you know. So this one for Capitec, I literally had to go to the casting agency and go um, audition. So for the first audition, they literally asked me, what's your name? They asked me to say my name, age and agency. So can you see Shabalala, 20 years old, my booker. And then after that, they asked me to show my hands. Yeah, that's what you have to do. And my profiles, so, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, you just show your profiles. And then that was it, I think. Oh, and I literally just had to smile, like look directly in the camera and just smile. I wasn't smiling like that, but I literally just had to smile. And then um, I had to wait. I had to, I had to wait to get um, some feedback as to whether I made it or not. So I think I waited like for a few days or a week, a week, bro, to, to hear from them again, to hear from my agency basically to know whether I made it into the next round. And guess what? Of course, your girl made it to the next round. So here's the. Oh. <gasps> No, it's staring. Okay, but here's the sticker I wore for my audition. Dental braces woman, 244. Can you see the shawalala? And my agency, my booker. So I literally just had to... And just stand there. It was so interesting. It was so cool. It felt so real. It felt so, you know, on the screen. Oh my goodness. So that's why I'm going to forever keep this as memories this is out of my first agency first job 
first TV commercial, not first job, but like first job through my agency. Let me rather say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a lot interesting, mate. So the second audition, I got there, and again, um, I think it was hands, and then profiles, and this time around, I had to. Okay, my phone is being filmed <laughs> with. It's being filmed with. So the second round, I had to like. I'm just gonna use this bag as a demonstration. I had to basically pretend like I have a phone in my hand and literally look down like I'm not really sad but insecure like then you gradually just bring the phone up and you're like I love it I love it love it so they basically just wanted to capture my smile you know like own it okay own it be confident just own it okay it's your smile baby yeah that was the second audition then again Again and again and again i had to wait and um yeah i really waited for like yo i think again a few days or a week until i heard um whether i made it or not so i got you positivity 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 i got this and boom shakalaka boom shakalaka boom shakalaka i got to tell you i got a call from my agency and the lady she didn't even greet me. She's just like, congratulations. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. I was like, she's like, you made it, you made it. Yay, I'm so excited. And then she immediately went into the details. Yo, I was so overwhelmed. I was just like, <laughs> I was literally like, no, I wasn't, I wasn't in shock. I was just like, I just wanted to burst. Like, I just wanted to burst. I was like, wait, what? Me? Did what? Say less. So that's when she gave me um, further more details as to when my shoot dates will be and when wardrobe will be. Let me tell you something. My favorite, favorite, favorite part throughout this whole um, film process, if that's how I can put it, was wardrobe. Ciao. Child, child. I'm even gonna insert clips after here or after here. I don't know which direction it's going to be. Um, but the wardrobe people were so so amazing. Like they were really patient, they were helpful, they were funny, they were friendly, they were kind, they were just amazing, genuinely. So um when I got to wardrobe, wardrobe was um at a costume hire in Salt River. So basically they asked me to get there at a specific time. I was a bit late. <laughs> Anyways, so when I got there, I had to sign in, yeah. And it's like, it's like, it's like literally anyone even will let you know who you are once you remove your mask. So once you remove your COVID-19 mask, yeah. And actually, um, those who know me know I'm. Um, I just like smiling, even unnecessarily. I will just smile. They're like, oh, I know who you are. Obviously, the dental braces woman. Dun, dun, dun. So um. Mrs. Just Own It, whoever you are, you'll get what I mean when I put in the actual um, adverts at the end. But yeah, that's what happened. So when I got there, it was by Blue, Blue Lounge, if I'm not mistaken, it's called Blue Lounge. Um, so they basically had all the different characters' clothes piled up under their uh, clothing rail. Whew, that was a mouthful. What? So yeah, mine was literally under, yeah, there was a clothing rail with different outfits for me to fit on. And obviously when you're applying for your model agency, you need to put in your sizes, like your t-shirt size, your shoe size, bottom size, na 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 na. Bust, height, yeah, all those things, measurements. So they already had the clothes set out for me. It's not like they had to go look for a black skirt in size medium, a black t-shirt in size small, you get me. So everything was already mwah, mwah, mwah. And Johnny Ernie. <laughs> so um, they gave me these nice chunky 
cotton on black sandals so they were very chunky but they weren't visible in the video so so that's why what i wore on my feet didn't really matter like it really didn't matter that's why they made me wear chunks instead of heels or i don't know i could have worn sneakers but um the idea behind my character the dental braces woman was to basically dress in a way that um you're about to go out with your friends you get me yeah you're about to get out with your friends night out with your friends so yo guys is this green dress yo 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 but one would you Yeah, that green dress was so nice. Ha! Huh? I think I took a story of it. I will add it somewhere. I really love that green dress. Like, it was so, so nice. But the only thing they didn't like about it is that it was short. It's from Zara. One day, I'll go get that dress. That dress was so nice. Like, it's like a wraparound dress. Nah? And I think it has a bit of a slit, if I remember quite well. Like you tie it in the front and then have a mini slit. It's green, it's short, it's not too short, but I think for the actual ad, maybe they didn't want it to be, you know. Anyways, so yeah, there were a whole lot of clothes to put on. There were a whole lot of yo, because obviously you had to put on um an outfit and then go get it um approved or disapproved by the actual directors i think there were four four or five of them i don't know because now obviously they needed to see if it would go well with the actual capitex scene or the scene of the bedroom um yeah so yeah those were the vibes um eventually there was this nice long purple dress that i really liked and it's also from zara it was long yeah like those touch the floor vibes and it also had slits on the side. It had slits on the sides. That dress is also nice. Like I'm not gonna lie. I feel that it was long. Anyways, um, it was also nice and bright. So they basically wanted me to wear something really bright, like something out there, something bold, you know. Especially the top piece. Like the top piece had to be really bold. Because you'll see even in the Capitec ad, I think they cut off just by my thighs. They cut off uh, just by my thighs i think if i'm not mistaken or above my knee gangani but above my knee so yeah um they actually did approve of the purple dress but it was just on standby until the actual shoot date on the actual shoot date was when they actually approved of another outfit that i had to fit on my word so like i wore these chunky gold earrings unfortunately i haven't been sent my pictures yet i would have inserted those but I wore these chunky gold earrings, which really looked nice. I wore this pink and black bodysuit with um, some black formal pants from Zara. Unfortunately, I do not get to keep the clothes, jewelry, shoes that I fitted on, which is a bit of a bummer. But that's okay, because I would have loved to keep them, especially the formal pants. I really love the formal pants. But anyways. Hey guys, what a day it's been. What a day it's been. Um... That place was even so cold like i literally have my heater on ask me what am i doing with the heater on gas brain let me tell you something eh? one thing about cape town's weather i shim it fluctuates in the morning it was so warm and then after that it was so cold and windy and then gt was hot again and then now the weather is down again like make it make sense man so yeah that's why i've got my heater on also that place was like very cold like inside oh my gosh anyways so yeah water fittings went very well um so what happened is they picked they you know like when you apply for a modeling agency right you already have your details written down you know like when you're writing your name surname then ask you like shoe size dress size t-shirt size so you already have those written down so they already had a set of clothes under my role that i'll be playing for a certain um ad or something commercial or something um so yeah they already have a set of clothes for me there's a specific um color scheme that they're going for 
so it was a lot child it was a lot like i had to bring i brought my own clothes now um so there was some they approved of some they didn't only because my dresses were like very short otherwise <laughs> so they just they are short that's why they were just like oh yo, yo. we need to give you my clothes so but they gave me nice my clothes <laughs> as long as they nice this is baking so yeah man and then obviously you just have to wear something show the judges if they approve they don't approve change put on something else until they are like satisfied then um so all pictures i mean all outfits that get pictures of because they basically take pictures of you in your outfits so all the approved ones will get pictures okay and they basically gonna print out those pictures and set aside and see hmm what do we like what don't we like put the three aside put the three aside then come to a conclusion so this is the dress she's gonna wear then they'll probably have the top three or top two dresses out of all the oh, why am i saying dresses like only fits the dresses outfits that i fitted then they'll put like the top three or top two and then basically make me practice in those two different outfits i think and then yeah those are the vibes but i'm looking forward to it i'm really not sure if i keep the clothes i wish i do keep the clothes because the clothes are fire guys they are fire and i don't have 800 grand to spend in sora for a dress sorry babes sorry so yeah man those are the vibes i'm excited i'm looking forward to it whatever i just need to know when my shoot dates are otherwise your girl is down tired bad i am down tired bad <laughs> i'm down bad very tired um, yeah, I don't know how many times they told me they like my smile. Just for every picture, I was just like, <laughs> so I don't know how many times they like they like my smile. I look cute. They like my braces. I'm just like, thank you. So yeah, man, that's that's it's been a day. Eh? <laughs> Funny enough, when I first started, like my very first audition, I was nervous. Because I didn't know what's gonna happen. I didn't know where is all of this is going lead me to. I didn't know anything. And they were going commercial, papa. Anyways, so yeah, I was really looking forward to that. Um, the nerves calmed down, honestly speaking. Now I get there, and like literally, even my second audition, I got there. I was like, okay, I got this second round. What do you do, baby? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Compared to the first time, I was just like, Ooh, nerves, nerves, nerves. Uh, so yeah, now everything is just smooth, yet yeah, no, it's still smooth. Now when I get there, it's like it's like you already know the people, eh? Also the people are very friendly. I want to take this hair out just um, I can only take it off after the shoot, which is a bit smizzle. Yeah, I can only take this hair out after the shoot, of course. I don't even know how my hair is gonna be styled, child. Which way I look for that. So now for the actual shoot date, it took place by, I forgot the name, but it's somewhere by, it's like next to the Newlands Forest, next to, um, what's this thing called? Kirstenbosch Botanical Gardens. Yeah. There's like an estate there. It's a very nice estate. It's like you can get married there. Like it's a very nice estate. G -g -g. I just forgot the name of it. Um, so there I had to sign in and I basically got my makeup done there. I will insert clips of the lady doing my makeup. Okay. Tell you something, she really, she really, really did um, a good job like she wasn't at bad at all because you know how in the industry when it comes to doing african skin makeup african skin makeup yeah it's a, it's a bit of a so i'm very proud and i was quite impressed with the way the lady blended in the foundation and concealers she actually really made it match my skin tone 
which is great so the look was um the ideal look was like a natural makeup look with what is your power my lips like yeah just like lip gloss with with some liner that's it after that um oh yeah i met two girls there who were also in the video um milani and i forgot the other one's name <laughs> The one who's holding the x-rays, you'll see in the capital ad, I forgot her name. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, they were very friendly and nice. It was so amazing to speak to them. And basically, we all went to went into a transport and they took us to the actual house where the, um, the ad was being filmed, which was like just a street after, after the location that we were at. So the lady constantly had to touch up her makeup then I went to go put on my bodysuit and the black formal pants to go get it approved for the final time. Imagine, just before my shoot. Um, so yeah, then I waited a couple of hours. Yo, guys, can I tell you how I had to be there at like, what was the time? Boom, I 11. I think it was 11 in the morning. It was 10 in the morning until 7 p.m. at night. That's literally when I requested an Uber to go back home here at Res. 7 p.m. at night. I was literally there like, almost the whole day so i was very tired so um mm. after getting my outfit approved they basically showed me the room where um i was being filmed there were like cameras and lights Everywhere, bro. Everywhere, not a ceiling, way, not balcony. There were light cameras everywhere, literally, right in my face. Camera all over your face. <laughs> no, fully. Um. So yeah, I was like in a girl's bedroom, and it was like laptop. There was makeup accessories. The wardrobe was open with some fancy evening dresses there or night out dresses, should I say? Heels, more lily, more you know, the vibes. So then they told me when I got to the room, they're like, okay, starting in three, do you know your lines? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, I literally, I started laughing because I wasn't told anything when I got there, but what exactly am I going to be doing? And then after that, <laughs> the guy was like, no, he's joking. This is, I think this was a direct if I'm not mistaken. Then he's like, no, he's just joking. Um, you're going to do exactly what you did for your second audition um then they got into debt just give us a very not like confused sad look but just be very insecure about your looks and then gradually lift the phone up and smile confidently i think we did that boma 1500 times yo lights camera action and big smile oopsie daisy <laughs> I think we did that boomer 1500 times. Yo, lights, camera, action, and big smile. Yo, my jaws after that, no, they were really going through the motion. My jaws were really, really sore. Like, I don't even want to lie to y'all. Yo. So, like, there were times when you see for the close up parts where I was actually, and just, or you could, what? You could own a home, or just own it. After the, the voiceover um, on the Capitol ad, when she says own it, you'll see my face is like, yeah, it's a more close up snippet of me. Um, that was literally me. It looked like I was holding on to the phone, like, like I'm taking a selfie, but I was actually holding on to the camera. My arm, child. Yo, because I, I had to move the, the camera around multiple times just to get that nice close-up snap you get me so yeah that was quite interesting and literally after that that was it man that was it i was nervous but not too nervous eh like i really wasn't nervous i'm not even gonna lie because this guy once i don't know who he is but some guy they asked me um is this your first um like you know commercial i'm like yeah it is i didn't even know if it was gonna be a commercial to be quite honest like like I said, I wasn't told anything. 
I read really know what was happening. I yo, I shame. I wouldn't even lie. I didn't know what was happening. I really didn't know it was gonna be a whole commercial. Like I was quite shocked. Mm, surprised. Surprised. I was quite surprised, shocked. But in the end, very, very happy. Of course, the coins, the bag came in, you know what I'm saying? Because that's all that matters at the end of the day. You gotta bring it back, sis. Okay. Period. So he has too many more. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Oh, by the way, a big thank you to all the well wishes, the congratulations, because I did post a video on my Instagram page and I got so many messages, DMs, reposts, um, comments from people. And I must say, I really, really appreciate it. It made me feel a lot happy and it actually made me realize that I don't know man this is this is this is this is a very good start you know it's opening doors to many more opportunities who knows what the next step may be and yeah 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 um my one friend from high school she was like no ways can you i can't believe it i'm not really seeing you on tv but i used to see you in class but tv <laughs> what are you saying what, what are you saying like honestly I was excited throughout the process like because obviously now when the ad got released i was just like go that's you that's you though that's you <laughs> um yeah but i was excited throughout the process even through my auditions i wasn't nervous like everything was just flowing i like the water you know because we keep moving from like the water you know the vibes so um yeah i need to go celebrate this honestly speaking i wasn't shiny nobody but i really need to go celebrate this like this is really achievable always english doesn't want me to succeed today i shame it really doesn't want me to succeed anyways like i said i really need to go and celebrate this nobody and i was but i really need to celebrate this because um like it 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 means a lot. Like it really means a lot. It's it's big. It's big. It's huge, bro. Bro, it's huge. You know my one friend, um, Michael. He actually told me that I don't know. I think I don't know if he said it or if he was manifesting it, like to see Kanye on billboards one day. But he said New York, and I'm just like New York. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> For small steps, baby steps, yeah? Baby steps. I'll stop for your app. Stop for So, yeah, I'm very, very much grateful and happy. Um, wow. Literally, within a space of six months from joining my agency, I'm very, very happy. Um, um, yeah. So, in the next clip, I will be entering the actual um, Capitec ad do watch it and enjoy okay anyways yeah do you enjoy with credit from capitech you can study music or medicine expand your home or afford to expand your family pay for a fashion emergency or a real one drive that first car or drive your first business and you can own a home or just own it. Whoever you are, we have a personalized credit solution that's built around you. Overall, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So I'll see you in my next video. Hey. Bye.